Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to like change the player's properties, like their speed and their jump power. So, let's get started with that. So, I'm going to start off by making a button and start a GUI by pressing a plus and inserting a screen GUI. And then in that screen GUI, I'm going to press the plus and insert text button. Now, I'm just going to make this say increase speed it doesn't have to look good it's just a test uh, I just feel like making it good still so in the text button I'm gonna add a pl I'm gonna press the plus and I'm gonna add a local script I'm gonna remove the print hello world the first thing I'm gonna do is get the player so local player equals game dot player dot local player so we're making a variable and getting the local player so now we're gonna script our parent on mouse button one click connect function so pretty much what this does is when mouse button one clicked, which is left mouse button on your mouse, it'll send whatever is inside of here. So pretty much just when you click on the button, it'll do what's ever in between these lines. So now we want to increase the player's speed we put here, right? So we're going to do player.character.humanoid.walkspeed plus equals, let's do 16. So we're gonna get the player's character, and in we're gonna get the humanoid. And in the humanoid, there's a walk speed property, and pretty much that walk speed property is the property that controls the player's well walk speed. And then we're gonna increase that by 16. So let's quickly launch the game. See if there's any errors. So as you can see, we're walking this fast. We and as you can see, the more we click the button, the faster we start moving and we're going all sorts of places now let me show you real quick if we go into workspace and we go into our character if we go into the humanoid and we go to properties if we scroll down you can see our jump you can see jump power or jump height you can see our walk speed you can see it increases when we press the button you can see our max slope angle max health hip height or health currently so if we change this then our health isn't going to be at the max. I'm not sure how to make it work to show you the health pop up. But here there's many properties that you can change of the player by default. Health display distance. Name display distance. All sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to have to see how does this incrementation work. I'm not sure what the operation is to convert jump height to jump power so I guess we're just gonna do yeah alright so now I'm going to duplicate this button and put it on top I'm gonna make this button say increase J height now I'm in the script we're gonna remove this line and I'm gonna do player dot character dot humanoid dot jump height plus equals let's say 10 now there's jump power and jump height they're both pretty much the same range I guess you could say except here let me just go back into the humanoid you can toggle between a jump power and jump height so 50 jump power would be 7.2 jump height as you can see there's no difference in how high it is so either way each way works the same but how would I say this I guess you can use either way you can use jump height or jump power it just depends on your personal preference but by default it's jump height and then you can toggle on use jump power on players when they join the game if you'd like but as you can see when we jump our jump height is increasing and I'm just going to increase our speed too. So now we're quick and we jump pretty high. Just like that. Now, I'm going to show you some extra properties you can change. Like how to lower the health. So I'm going to, once again, duplicate this button. But instead of increase, I'm going to write decrease health. And if you're wondering how to duplicate something, you can right click it and press duplicate. Or you can press control D while selecting it. So now in the script, I'm going to go into the local script, remove this line, and we're going to do player 
dot character dot humanoid dot health plus e or minus equals 10 so if you want to increase the player's health over 100 you're gonna want to increase the player's max health so I'm gonna duplicate this button once more and I'm gonna change this text to increase health and now I'm gonna remove this line and what I'm gonna do is player dot character dot humanoid dot max health plus equals 20 so max health is pretty much the maximum health they can get once they're done healing and if you want to increase you can increase it the same way as increasing health and if you want to increase the health over 100 you would have to increase the max health with it so now let's do player dot character dot humanoid dot health plus equals 20. so now i'm going to load up the game and i will show you if we press decrease health well I gotta check the actual humanoid because I don't have a health bar but as you can see here health is 110 and if we press increase health as you can see it's increasing and as you can see our max health is increasing and if we press decrease health our health over here is decreasing and once again just change your other properties jump high and such Let's see as you can see our max health so when you get damaged your max health won't go down it's only your health that'll go down so you can make your max health go down but that would be a interesting system to create so yeah pretty much that's how you change some of the properties of the player like their speed their jump height and their health and such like that there is many different spots that you can or property that you can change this one property in specific that's pretty like cool you can pretty much make the player walk to a part like force move like i can make them walk to this position not even touching my keyboard and it moved to that spot here i'll make it move to spawn location actually i'm gonna insert a part let's see if i can make myself walk towards the part you can do walk to select the part no oh, we need to select the part that's the part that we're meant to select to see yeah you can pretty much just mess around with these properties there's a sit property just make the player sit platform stand which is well I'm going through the floor now apparently and then jump not sure if that, that's meant to make me jump but yeah so there's many properties you can change in the player you just gotta mess around with it but that's how you can change the speed and health and such so hopefully this video helped you and bye